Live. It's Monday Night Muses. How are you, beautiful humans? I have got my co-muse for many months back with us again, Nico Patton. Hello. It's I so hope good you to are... be back. It's so good to have you back. Thanks. Nico's hair is pinker than the last time you saw her, and her songs are still just as good. Maybe a little more pink? Could be. I don't know. I got to hear um, I got to hear her practicing during our sound check, and she has a new album coming out, which is full of like super wonderful, awesome songs um, coming out soon. It's called Pirate Queen. It's really good. I got to hear the final mixes. Um, so anyway, she's gonna share some of those songs with you. It's gonna be super awesome, wonderful. You're gonna be very excited. So I'm gonna get the heck out of here and turn you over to Nico Patton. Oh my gosh, amazing. Thank you so much, Rory. It's so good to be back. Uh, I'm so grateful to Rory for making this uh, possible. I, I feel like a groundhog tonight poking my head out after a little bit of a winter hibernation. So thank you all so much for being here. I'm so happy that you're here. Please say hello in the comments. And um, if I don't know you, let, let me know where you're where you're watching from. I'd love to uh, I'd love to say hello. This is a song called Pirate Queen. I will soothe your shattered little heart And I will love all the worst parts And I will hold your pain in my mouth And I will speak until the words can come out of you you have taught me what it is to care and you have given so much more than what's fair you reeled me in when i was overboard long time ago you stopped keeping score keeping score to break us we will leave those doubters in our wake in our wake Susanna. Hey, Daniel. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I'm going to make a little instrument change. Rory! <laughs> Thank you so much. 
I'm going to adjust so that I can play some guitar for you, which means that I have to change my position and the position of this microphone. So if you'll uh, humor me for one moment so I can play some guitar for you. You all are currently on my piano, so uh, welcome. Welcome to the Music Cave here in Valley Stream, New York. I'm so glad that you uh, are with us tonight. I'm so glad that Rory is having me this evening. Rory Kelly, my very, very dear friend, who so graciously is having me back on Monday Night Muses after a bit of hi a hiatus. As I said, I feel sort of like the groundhog. Today is clearly not the day for the groundhog to poke his head out of the shadows. We're like my dog, Charlie. Apparently, um, burrowing is a chihuahua behavior, and so what he does is he gets all the way under the covers, and in the morning, he like pokes his little nose out. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> but I am. I'm very, very glad to be here. And I'm going to play you some songs from my album, which is going to be coming out. Um, the re one of the reasons why I've been in hibernation mode is because I've been working so very hard on this album that I am about to go into promotion mode for. So it's, oh, look, here's a chihuahua. Look a baby. Hello, sweetheart. He doesn't love the camera, but he is the cutest dog in the whole world. And he's brought on by the cutest husband in the whole world. <laughs> Thank you for humoring me. Hi, baby. You're so good. You're such a sweetheart. Say hi to everybody. Can you be a little friendly? Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. I don't like the camera, Mama. I don't like he the like camera. The <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, as I as I mentioned, I'm I'm working on this new album. So I've been a little bit in like nutty professor making the album mode. I'm about to go into bring the album out into the world mode. So uh, that's my. That's my hibernation. All right, I'm just going to check out the comments before I... Rayon. Hey, Rayon. Oh, Rob. Um, my own tiger eyes. Yes, puppies and music. Puppies and music are my two favorite things for sure. All right. This is a song called Burning Rome to the Ground. It's for all my ladies out there. for violence and she was done playing a mouse no longer scared of the silence or giving in to doubt she's burning Rome to the ground she's burning Rome to the ground she's burning Rome to the ground share of abuse from despicable men I took a deep breath and I opened my mouth I said enough is enough I told them over and out I'm burning from the ground I'm burning from the ground I'm burning from the ground out for each other through unthinkable pain the pain that only a mother could ever know or sustain
thank you guys. Hey Perry, I'm so glad you're here. Hello, hello, hello. I'm just drinking, I shouldn't be drinking coffee, but that's what I'm drinking. It's past 7 p.m. I should be drinking water, but I'm not. And I just encourage you all to support me in my lack of healthy behavior <laughs> at this moment. Um, this is a song called Pay the Piper. And uh, it requires the use of a pick, which I just realized, I think the pick I was practicing with went in my guitar, so I gotta get one. <laughs> oh my goodness. As I may have mentioned, as I may have mentioned, this is my first rodeo in a while. <laughs> Ah, uh, I used to gig like four times a weekend. I used to do this all the time. <laughs> this is a little different, but um, I'm so glad that you all are here. There we go. This is a song called Pay the Piper. It's kind of about just being like real real about like what you have to do in this world and you know you don't have time for ain't nobody's bullshit you know what i'm saying didn't you know i was a liar comments oh what kind of coffee um my own tiger eyes i'm sorry I, I imagine as a barista this um next comment may insult you um but it's just plain old drip coffee from a bag of dunkin donuts coffee <laughs> um i you know i i'm sorry I, I i tried really hard with the french press i just 
I never did it very well. And, um, you know, I, I have just um, surrendered, surrendered to the drip coffee. Also, I drink so much coffee that um, it just requires that my husband and I make essentially like two pots a day for the two of us. It's a lot of coffee. Um, but uh, it's just what works for us. So um, I, I hope you can accept my deepest apologies. <laughs> I feel like I'm on, uh, on Schitt's Creek. Warmest regards, best wishes, right? Okay, I'm gonna play a song, a lesser played song on my set list. Hey, hey, Toby Tobias, what's up, friend? I'm so glad that you're here. This is a lesser played song on my set list. It is a love song about two broken people um, learning and helping each other heal and um, finding true spiritual healing and growth um, through loving each other. <laughs> Your daddy used to hit you when you were small. You learned to build a colossal wall. All that rage was stored inside. Until my love became your battle cry. You fought for truth, you fought for self You clawed out of your citadel Walls came down, I helped you break and Now I'll hold you steady as you start to shake Each other better than before. 
Thanks, guys. Thank you all so much. Um, I'm so grateful to be here on Rory's Monday Night Muses stream. Thanks uh, to all of you for having me. Hi, Isla. Hi, Fred. Um, I'm sorry if I don't see anyone else's comment. Um, but I love this stream yard that Rory is using. This is so cool. It's so much better than doing it plain on Facebook. I hope that you all are enjoying um, the way that it looks and, and all of that. Super, super cool. Thank you so much to Rory for setting me up like this. And obviously, you should stick around for Rory's set at 8 p.m. She's going to... Barbie! Missed you too. I'm so glad to be here. Obviously, Rory's going to play an amazing set at 8 p.m. I can't wait to um, eat some more carbs and watch Rory at 8 p.m. <laughs> That's my general plan. So this next song is a breakup song. And let's be truthful. Um, I've been with my husband for 11 years. We've been married for almost eight. This is obviously not a personalized breakup song about someone that I've broken up with. Because um, I wrote it in the last year. But I decided that the album needed something kind of sassy. I mean, it has a few sassy things on there. But I decided that it need, needed one more oomphy thing. So I was like, hmm, I'll write a breakup song. So you can apply this to whatever in your life uh, feels appropriate. Right now, I'm really feeling this breakup song, um, you know, in terms of America, breaking up with our former president. <laughs> I feel like it's, for the most part, pretty much right on applicable. You take it however it works for you. <laughs>
Oh, did you show your own comment, Rory? <laughs> Katie Tenenbaum, what's up? Hello, I'm just looking at some comments. Hi, guys. I'm so happy that you're all here. Thank you so much. I'll, I'm going to do a song that's a big shout out to my friend Daniel Fisher tonight. Um, Daniel, are you Jewish? I think you're Jewish. Um, in particular, I'm asking because... This is a song called I Have a Crush on a Priest. <laughs> so it was funny that in particular, Daniel texted me requesting this song for this evening. Um, and for those of you who have never heard this song or don't know me, um, you, you, you may know or you may, um, I, I'd like to tell you that I, in my past, have had a history of having um, crushes on inappropriate people. <laughs> One of them being a priest. Now, this the priest in question um was like an olympic athlete who had like just become a priest so he was like super young i was like 21 and he was probably like 23 um and he was like really good looking <laughs> so um what do you do when you have an inappropriate crush on someone i mean you all can put in the comments what you do you know someone that you cannot date for whatever reason um his of course his reason being that he was married to Jesus um, or whatever. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, what I do when I um, have inappropriate feelings is I write songs. <laughs> I've got a crush on a priest. Each day my love has increased. It's not so serious though I am deliriously happy around I really think it's true love and that he has been sent from above and though he is celibate I think we're a perfect fit and happy together we'd be I'm in love with a man of the cloth I'm praying he won't brush me off I'm giggly and blushing can't see Stop gushing and acting like I am 13. Oh, love me. Why don't you love me? Oh, love me like you love Jesus. Love me. Why don't you love me? Oh, love me like you love Jesus. I'm starting to think that he knows. And I've got to get myself composed Here he comes after mass I hope I don't act like an ass My tongue is all twisted Cause he has insisted That he is being harassed He sent the restraining order today Said for my sins I would pay But though I may go to hell It really is just as well Because I love him from a hundred yards away Oh, love me, why don't you love me? Oh, love me like you love Jesus Sing it with me from your home. Love me, why don't you love me? Oh, love me like you love Jesus Jesus, love me, why don't you love me? Oh, love me like you love Jesus. Love me, why don't you love me? Oh, love me like you love Jesus. Love me, why don't you love me? Oh, love me. Like you love Jesus Love me, why don't you love me? Oh, love me, like you love Jesus Love me, why don't you love me? Oh, love me, like you love Jesus Love me, why don't you love me? Oh, love me, like you love Jesus Love me, why don't you love me? Oh, love me like you love Jesus. Love me, 
Why don't you love me? Oh, love me like you love Jesus. I don't understand. Love me. Why don't you love me? I have long hair. Oh, love me like you love I Jesus. I could do miracles if I try. Love me. Why don't you love me? Oh, love me like you love Jesus. I've got a crush on a priest. <laughs> All spare in love and war. Yeah, man, that one was rough. It was so awkward, you guys. It was like awkward there in my life for just a minute. <laughs> Maria, what's up? Um, I'm so glad that you all are here. I'm singing songs. I'm checking the time to make sure I don't go over time. I'm playing on inspiration of Rory Kelly's uh, policy. I am playing all original music tonight. Um, I used to do like an all request thing. Um, I do obviously play lots of covers, but it's been really fun um, rehearsing and getting ready for tonight because I uh, am so happy to play, be playing all original music tonight. This is a song, I'm going to change the pace a little bit. This is a song called The Death of the Princess, and I wrote it after my grandmother passed away. My grandmother, who I lived with, um, I was sort of a stray musician, <laughs> and she took me in, in her house in Queens. I lived in the upstairs, she lived in the downstairs. We were like two single gals, and then uh, my then boyfriend asked me to marry him, and she goes, well, why and he just move in he'll just he'll just move in with us and I was like great <laughs> so he moved in and the three of us were like three's company and it was um bliss and love and harmony and the, then the two of them ended up loving each other way more than either of them loved me and it was like totally fine with me um but she she passed away in 2017 and uh this song is about that thing that happens when your um, parent or role model or grandparent or whoever passes away and you then feel the weight of being um, a more adult than you were before. Like maybe you were an adult, but um, without that person there, you, you are now m much more of an adult than you used to be. And that's what the death of the princess is about. I'm stubborn and loud I don't back down I stand my ground The same way she did And her blood Is running through my veins Her blood running through my veins She is transitioning I'm repositioning I pray she is listening I call her name And her blood is running through my veins
My daughters will resound the story of your reign. And we will remain. And your blood is running through our veins. Your blood is running through our veins. her I miss her a lot she's a real spitfire when Dan and I would fight Dan's my husband um I'd come downstairs crying and I'd be like grandma he's so mean he's so mean to me grandma and then he'd come downstairs like with his tail between his legs like apologetic you know and she'd like pat my head and she'd say to him do you think you belong here <laughs> and then when we were really I mean there was she was being funny but um, you know, sometimes when he was just like kind of being a little fresh, she'd say, I'm going to put you out. I'm going to put you out on the street. <laughs> the two of them were so cute. They were so cute together. I'm going to, um, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to do some old songs. How about that? How about some old songs? Um, maybe at least one old song. I'm trying to like time this right here. <laughs> Dan, there's my husband, Dan, in the comments. I'll put him out. I'll put him out. I'd, I'd come to her complaining, Grandma, he's annoying me. I'll put him out. <laughs> so um, if you have ever, aw, Suze or Susie, tell me how to pronounce your name, Suze or Susie. My grandma says she'll beat my boyfriend out and she's a little old lady under 5-0, Katie Tenenbaum. That's so cute. I love it. Um, so this song is called Fish Out of Water. Some of you, I know, uh, participated in the music video for this. So you can sing along at home. This is a song about feeling like a fish and you don't really belong in the ocean anymore and you don't really belong on land and you're not quite sure what to make of yourself and how to live your life. But you're going to have to figure it out because there's no other place for you to go. It's the, it's the ocean or the land. And so you're just going to have to figure out how to dance in between those two places. Did you ever feel like a fish out of water? Like a four-legged beast, you try to walk on land. You adjust and try to fit in and alter. But no matter how you try, you just can't stand. Now when you get back to the water, start flipping your fins. You can't, you've forgotten how to swim. You try to walk so long that your fins feel wrong. Everything looks grim You can never go back Once you leave home waters You better teach those fins To dance somewhere in between La 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 la, la, la. This is the easy sing-along part La la Make me so happy if like Katie Tannenbaum when the la 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 come part comes back if you would la 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 in the comments so that we could feel like we're all live and in person and singing along I would like I don't know I would give like a limb to be at like a sweaty party right now I don't know about you guys obviously I'm not going to I'm getting vaccinated next week Woo! but if you all will la 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 in the comments for me I will feel a little bit less alone, so please sing along as you type. Did you ever feel like the course was a bit misleading? You forgot. You never got where you thought you'd get when you went to go. And then you're feeling just like a ship without an acre. You better batten those hatches down, even so. La 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 la
I'm sorry to tell you answers I have none. Screw an answer anyway, they're overrated. So now you sing along with me, the song is done. La 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 la. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. La 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 la. la. Thank you guys. I feel so much less alone. I feel like the I feel like Punxsutawney Phil. And I've come out of my groundhog hole and I'm like, oh, there's sunlight. <laughs> you guys are absolutely the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It seems I have broken a string. I'm going to attempt to do one more song on guitar with a broken string. Um, if it sounds a little empty, you'll know why. But uh, we're just going to make it work, as Tim Gunn would say. Any Project Runway fans out there? It's my favorite show where these like fashion designers compete against each other. And they make all these outfits. And I, you know, I mean, the drama part of it is a little silly, but I really like watching them make the clothes. I really am a fan of watching art forms that I am absolutely terrible at. Like, I love, like, watching people bake stuff that's, like, really fancy looking. Or, like, draw things. I'm very, very taken by art forms that I have absolutely no business participating in. Um... I'm going to do a little song for you that I wrote in quarantine. This is a current love song for my husband, Dan. Um, and it's about when maybe you've been together for a while and you've settled into a nice routine together and things just feel easy and they fit. We had such a nice, a nice quarantine routine, you guys. And it keeps changing now. My husband's a teacher, back to school. I'm a, I teach private music lessons. I'm like teaching lessons in masks. There's like all kinds of things happening. But like in the real lockdown period of the quarantine, we just had this like great routine. It was, it was so awesome. This is what this is about. It's called Our Love Isn't New. Eight o'clock and I go and stretch my spine. Is it your turn to take the dog or mine? Go back to sleep, you say. I don't remember, but I'll take him today. Just lay back down and sink in. Get a few more winks in. The coffee's hot and the paper brings bad news. But I don't worry, cause I have got my muse. My blue September baby, we're together. There's nothing that can sway me. You are making pancakes, and I'm your loyal fan base. Oh, our love isn't new, but there's nothing about me and you. You're like my faded best tattoo. Yeah, we've seen each other. Take the trash out and cut the chores in half. Funny voices that make each other laugh. Watch Game of Thrones together. So different, but we're two birds of a feather. Dancing in the kitchen. My love, you're still bewitching. Oh, our love is in. I choose you again and again and again and again and again. Oh, our love isn't new, but there's something about me and you. You're like. 
like my faded best tattoo Yeah, we've seen each other through No, our love isn't new Our love isn't new You thought I was joking about that Kit Harrington thing? I'm dead serious, baby If Kit Harrington came up to me right now and was like, Nico, I wanna do things with you I'd be like, mm-mm I'm married to Dan Vesely. Although Kit Harrington is very good looking. Our love isn't new. Josie Bello, hey, how are you? I'm so glad that you all are here. Okay, I'm gonna do one more song. Um, and I wrote this song. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Before I tell you what I wrote the song about couple things one stick around for rory kelly at 8 p.m rory kelly my very very dear wonderful sweet fantastic friend who i love so much who sings and writes songs and is just in general a, a beast of a human um she's a lady beast but just she's a lady she's a beast human in general and um i am so grateful to have her in my life listen along with me as she plays at eight o'clock that's first Second, um, if you would like to hear some of these songs, you can go to my Spotify, Apple Music website, blah, 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 blah. My spelling of my name is there. Also, my friend Ryan Baker made me this cute little sign. I'm sorry that it wasn't visible, Ryan. Uh, I didn't notice until now. <laughs> I was trying to manage a lot of things happening. Ryan Baker made me this sign. How cool is that sign that says my name? That's how to spell my name. You can find me on the internet. If you want to um, find out when my new album comes out, please follow me on social media or on my website. You can sign up for my mailing list. I would so appreciate it. I would just love to be in touch with all of you. Um, I know that Rory's crowd are a bunch of wonderful people. And so um, I would love to uh, chat and connect with any of you. Um, so please don't hesitate. Don't be shy. Please, please connect. Um, I'm so grateful that you're here. I do have a, a Venmo and PayPal tip jar. Should you feel so moved? If not, uh, no worries. I, I, you know, I just so appreciate your presence. And um, I'm going to do one more song. This I wrote for my little brother when he was, um, he was in love with this young woman who was moving to California. And um, my mom was like, don't leave me. <laughs> and I was like, you are an adult. Go do what you want with your life. Um, you have just one life to live, and you should follow your heart and your passion and your soul. Um, he ended up breaking up with that girl. It didn't. It didn't work out. He has a really wonderful girlfriend who I like much better now. <laughs> hey, Marissa! Shout out if you're watching. Marissa is is the best ever. She made my husband a Captain America cake for his birthday. Um, we love Marissa, but. Um, Anyway, the song still applies to all of you because I hope that you go out and do the thing it is in your heart that you need and are meant to do. Because if it's in your soul, you're meant to do it. So whatever that thing is, go, go do it. And that, this song is called Go. I'm going to just adjust this a little bit, too. Thank you all for being so wonderful. Oh, I made a mistake. Let's do it again. <laughs> Whoops. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness <laughs> as, I, as I do a do-over. Your ballot 
the day to test your fate. Cause tomorrow ain't been promised it, and that girl she will not your final song which is so good everyone how freaking good was nico thanks you guys thanks Rory. so y'all um please stay tuned you have just heard the amazing nico padden make sure you throw some love in her virtual tip jar which is ticking across the screen right now make sure you go follow her her name and the different places she exists on the internet are ticking across the screen right now as well so make sure you do that it's paypal.me backslash npadden or at nicopadden on Venmo if you want to throw some love in the tip jar, which is always a nice thing to do for an artist. I will be back with my stream in two short minutes. So here's what I ask you to do. Wherever you are, stay there. If you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitch, if you're on YouTube, stay there. Please subscribe, by the way, and hit the notification bell so that you get notifications when I go live, which will make everything easier. And let me sing two more. If you're on Facebook, get back to my page. It's facebook.com backslash Rory Kelly Music. I know Facebook like redirects you and it's confusing. And then refresh and I'll be there shortly in just a couple minutes. Because I love you. I wouldn't abandon you. And I'll be in the comments section for Rory's set cheering and um, probably eating carbs. Yes, carbs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rory. All right. Thank you so much, Nico. Bye, friends. I'll be right back. <laughs>